great day. Today we're going to talk about William Eggleston's The Democratic Forest, Volume 1. So he had a big set, I don't know if you can see, right here. This is a big 10 volume set of photos from his photographic uh, journey making the book, The Democratic Forest. So there's a single book. And then I think it was 2016. This was 2015. Uh, this is the first edition. I don't know if there is a second edition to this. Um, but anyways, this is the cover to volume one. This is the, the Louisiana Project. And yeah, it's a uh, kit or I don't even know, like image wrap, as I guess they call it. Um, it's uh, all these volumes in the whole book series or whatever you want to call it was printed by Steidel, which the prints are from them are usually quite pristine. So I went through and I chose my five favorite photos from this book. We got pages 41, 56, 77, 99, and 105. So let's go to page 41. I really like this. It's probably because of just the dated vibe, but uh, also the simplicity. This is something you could easily see. And I, that's also something with Eggleston's work that's a great reminder to where to keep your eyes open. You know what I mean? This could have... I feel like he shoots a lot just like... This is my own little theory. Um, a lot of his photos, I feel like, are quick, to the point. Was this exactly set up when he shot this photo? It's questionable. Do I mind if maybe he moved the bottle to the middle or moved one of them around or put them all straight? That doesn't bother me. But we'll never know. Um, and like I said, to me, it don't matter. Um, page 56. Um, yeah, I kind of wanted to talk about this one. I like this one because it's just pure random. Um, I I would like this if it was actually further up where you can see the full the full gun and more of the shoe over there in the corner. But still a great photo. Um, the funny thing is that I wanted to look through the actual Democratic Force book because I don't remember what is actually in there. Um, but yeah, I do like this photo still, because it's just another one of those things that's random. Um, gun, on, gun right outside the door, you get those lines. Again, was, you know, was the idea just to put the gun there to kind of get the cool photo. Uh, page 77, oh, wompy building with a wompy situation. That's just a rare, rare find. Um, Great photo, great find. You know, this is just one of those things where you get out and you shoot photos, and this, you get something, you get rewarded for things like this. This is a prime example of that. Page ninety nine. Uh, before I show this, I guess I'll say the low hanging tree is awesome. The car is obviously awesome. The house is good. The, the composition is great. This is just one of those awesome photos. I still struggle with cars because there's no car like this. Like, even the think about right now is like, should I be photographing cars more? The answer to that is yes. But I don't know if they're going to date like a car like this does in this photo. Maybe they will. Maybe the shape of cars will change in 20 years. And then all of a sudden, there's not that many artistic photographs of cars from this era. And that's something to think about. Page 105. Almost right to it. This is overall great. Um, 
aerial kind of shot from a hotel building or room or whatever. Um, nice little scene with a little family there. Um, cars, you know. See, like, photos like this, I can see cars working well. Um, current day. Uh, this is a great... Um, great shot. Again, I like... He's probably, a, he's probably on a balcony. But if he is, he's got, like, the first row of windows, which is, you know, it's just, like, a stroke of luck, luck situation. Um, just because he's towards the edge of the building. Um, it's, yeah, it's just one of those cool things where it's just, like, probably noticed it, waited around. Maybe didn't wait around. I don't know. That's, that's just an assumption there. But, you know, there's a scene happening, and... I love the kid like running up or whatever he's doing there. The dad being like, um, kind of paying attention to him, like, oh, what's going on? I think the kids like run up to him, and say something probably. Um, really cool little little uh, moment there, you know, coupled up with the yellow chairs, blue chairs, that you know, fake looking grass, and the tree. I don't know. This is a great shot. You know, one of those. Uh, I don't know, it's just like a moment in time, like a legit moment in time, and it's pretty cool. And that's something I want to think about more as well, is trying to find stuff like that while out shooting in the streets. And that's wraps up volume one of William Eggleston's Democratic Forest, my top five favorite photos. And one thing I want to mention with these, and maybe I should, in the end of every one of these top five photos, is it's my top favorite, top five favorite when I go through it before I film the video and I can open this up a uh, month from now and be like you know what page 91 is better than page 99 yeah you know I mean like that's for sure a thing but I think it's just nice to go through it and that's also a good experiment to do going forward if you have photo books or looking at photos online or whatever it is is to revisit um, books and that's one of my favorite things about this new little series I'm doing here of picking five photos, because I've never done that with my photo books at all, is like, yeah, I'm gonna go through it and pick five. Yeah, you know I mean, I've looked through them, you know, I've spent more time with certain books than others, and, and I think finding five is making me flip, you know, flip there, is this better? Do I like this one more? And it makes me, you know, think a little bit, and um, that might help me remember certain photos too that I normally wouldn't because I'm making a decision and I'm like focusing on certain images. So anyways, Volume 1, the Louisiana Project from William Eggleston, The Democratic Forest. I want to thank you for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.